Aloha again, everybody. Mike Drew, Tar Principal Broker, Next Home Paradise Realty, Kailua, Kona, Hawaii, bringing you another property tour. This one is going to be enjoyable. I know you guys like some gorgeous houses. I'm going to give you the stats on this one. Nine bedrooms, nine full baths, two half baths, five acres, built in 1999. Living area, 6,825 square feet. Currently listed at $7.75 million. And it's being hosted today by Josh at Concierge Auctions. Thank you, Josh. Listed by Carrie Nicholson at Hawaii Life. Thank you, Carrie. This one is on auction. The auction starts in January. If you are interested in this house, you can call me, you can text me, you can email me. All that information is down in the description below and we can get you registered and take a look and do a private tour of this house. There's a lot on this house. There is no way I can give you everything in a video. It would be an hour long uh, plus, and I'd still be running through it. So I'm going to do my best to show you as much as I can in a reasonable amount of time. Start off here on five acres. You got this large private, it's a gated community, of course. Circle drive that comes all the way up. Seventy different varieties of fruit in the orchard here. Three-car garage, Lucky Bennett design home, and you can see we have a standing seam metal roof. But that's not just any metal roof. You can see we got some patina on there. That's right. That is a copper roof. Don't see a ton of that here in our market. So, in a spectacular entrance, we're at seven hundred and. 750, no, 800 foot elevation. So we're gonna have spectacular, breathtaking, unbelievable views of Kona, even on a gray day like today. See, we got a stucco exterior, the ability to have a monitored alarm system with cameras, impressive, nice wide double door, solid wood entry, magnificent columns. We're looking at, I'd say about 15 foot ceilings in there coming in flagstone tile here in the main area of the house you like pocket doors that's about a 30 foot pocket door there it's, i think that's about the largest one i've ever seen i'm not sure what they're using in that header rail that is massive absolutely impressive everything in this home is going to be big is going to be outstanding we're looking at about 20 foot ceilings up here these open beams. So we come right into our living area, turn over to our left, have an office built in, gorgeous wood in there. True wood paneling in here. And an excellent built in. As you would expect, absolutely top grade woodwork here throughout. Top grade carpet, where we do have carpet, it feels outstanding on your foot. Thick carpet, high quality, wonderful pad. Here's the owner's suite. There's a lot to it. So we come in right at the beginning, turn to our left. We have, there's a built-in for you. Massive built-in dresser unit. We got a closet unit in here, mirrors, another closet unit. The door's over there. Massive closet with more built-ins. There I am, guys. Plenty of shelving, plenty of space to hang your clothes. I mean, just absolutely magnificent. African mahogany throughout on all this trim that they got going on throughout the house. Truly, truly impressive. And then coming in here to the bathroom setup. Really interesting setup here. So we got a water closet right here. We've got repair going on to the toilet. Coming in through our Glass door to our large shower. Marble all the way around throughout. And we have dual shower heads here. One on either side. Dual vanity on the sink, plenty of space. The color is popping a little bit more yellow. 
uh, on camera than it is in person. Uh, so it's a nice uh, tan sandstone color. Then we step up over in here to a large tub. We got glass block wall throughout here, laying in plenty of light. Saloon style doors going into the first bedroom of the owner's suite. Got a refrigerator, can't hardly even tell. Right there, what do we have here? Just storage, okay. I wonder for a second if there was a coffee maker there. And then they have a really interesting setup. So they have two queens, maybe even full size beds over here. And we have our pocket doors. You can see our sliders. Wow, so this is a really nice system. So they have the sliders um, here, which are the screen. Then you have a slider here, which is glass. And then you have a slider here, which is the wood shutters. So triple slider. Now this isn't pocketed on this particular door, uh, but it does open up pretty nicely. With our view outside, we're gonna get to that in a moment. And then you have this large door coming through to the main bedroom of the owner's suite. So really interesting setup. I don't think I've seen this before. And then you can see the wood trim, high ceilings, just absolutely outstanding. Another slider going out to our pool area and yet another one over here, sitting area, plenty of space, just an absolutely massive, massive owner's suite in here. So next, let's get my shoes back on because we're gonna see a few different things in this house. Uh, we're gonna check out our living area and go look here. I may have to go silent on the video and dub this over for a section here with the music. Okay, so I am back in the office and I'm on the microphone. And the reason I'm doing this is uh, they do have uh, a sound system there in the house that was playing some music. And YouTube makes it hard for me to send this out to you guys because they're worried about copyright things. So uh, back here in the office to give a little bit more of the tour. So what we're doing here, we're going into the separate TV room. I like how they set this up so that when you come into the house, you're not seeing that big old TV there. It's really meant for entertaining. And then they still have a great room for watching TV over here. All those Koa built-ins. And then we have a pocket slider on the rails here. So when you wanna close this room off, uh, you can do that, but you can also have it as a seating area for hanging out if you're having a large party, even if the TV's not on. Uh, come in here through the dining area, living area, obviously with so much space that you have there, you can do a lot of different things with how you wanna set it up. And then here's the tracks for the pocket sliders. So you have the sliders for the screen and the sliders for the glass. Uh, important to note, most of the time when it's like that system there, it's uh, what they do is they order in all the hardware and I'm willing to bet what they did on this particular property uh, was that they hand built all those panels out of African mahogany and glass and screen and then put the hardware in there and set it all up. Most likely that's how that came. I know a number of other properties that are uh, not even at this scale that that's how they do it. They do it all by hand on site uh, with raw pieces of wood. So pretty spectacular craftsmanship that goes into this. That lanai there is just huge. It's gotta be a thousand feet of covered lanai, absolutely massive, uh, completely blending the inside and the outside. And then of course you have this amazing long lap pool here with the uh, spectacular view uh, out over Kona. Elevated hot tub, uh, room for probably six, maybe even eight in there. Uh, if you have a, a little get together and you want to hop in and then we have a nice little viewing area kind of elevated and pushed out here to the edge where they have their lounges and then they did a good job on this they used the aluminum instead of the iron so that stuff's going to last a lot longer and you can see that view out there even on a gray day it looks pretty spectacular below the house they did a good job keeping it nice and clear they have a whole bunch of little bushes there that are mostly hibiscus uh, so nice colorful flowers uh, and then they've, they've really blended in the landscaping well. You noticed it at the front when we first walked in, and you see it when you look out over, but also just between the pool and the house, you see all the landscaping and the flowers that they have set up over there. I'd say this was about maybe a 25-meter uh, lap pool. So, uh, you know, if, you ever, if you're a swimmer and you do a lot of laps, that's the, the length of most of the lap pools that you're going to run into. It could be maybe a 20-meter pool, but... Uh, Pretty good length on that for getting some exercise in if that's what you want to do. And then we have a gate 
uh, pathway in the gate leading down here to the, I guess they'd call it the flower orchard. You see they got the gas tiki torches uh, in a numer numerous spots there around the house. So when you're having a, a party at night, you light those up. There's another one down there. You light those up all over and it really, um, really looks good. Uh, really enjoy it when I go to a house and they have the tiki torches on. And then of course on this house, I mean, there's nothing missing. So <laughs> you have a nice Viking outdoor grill all stainless and you got that tile flagstone going all the way up the side and then the granite on the back and then a viking vent and then over here we have a sink and a refrigerator it might be an ice maker there too i remember him saying that there was an ice maker out here as well now coming back into the house towards the kitchen immediately over here to our left have a powder room and even here in the powder room, they've got some really excellent granite. It is a sandwich uh, rolled uh, granite on there, and then it's rounded. You see that? They did a nice job on that. And then the water closet with its own little door there. So two doors of privacy there. Nice for when you're having a party so someone doesn't accidentally come in. And then we have this really outstanding working kitchen. Now, there's a lot going on here. First of all, those are all handmade Koa cabinets and everything's on site made by hand i mean it's a lot of koa wood we've got a wolf uh gas oven four burner and then you had your super burner over there to the left uh, so that's a really nice addition on there so plenty of cooking between that and the grill you got everything that you need we have a kitchen aid microwave here and I like how they have a nice, really large drawer right here for your pots and pans. A lot of times those large drawers for pots and pans are down really low, but it's something that you have to get often. So it's nice to have that at a good depth here. We have a good size island, probably about four foot by eight foot. Uh, there's a sink there. And then you have a dual dishwasher left and right side. So that's really good for those large parties. You see two drawers there. Those are refrigerator drawers. So you can put some refrigerated food there. And that's what I'm pointing out right here. And then there's also down right by me here, and you're gonna see this in just a second, two more refrigerator drawers, one there and one below. Now that's in addition to the counter depth, side-by-side, -side, uh, sub-zero stainless steel refrigerator that we have over here to the left. So a lot of refrigeration if you're having those big parties. It's really awesome to have that. Then on the other side, you see all the cabinetry. Again, handmade koa wood uh, on all that. Pretty spectacular. Coming in here into the utility, more koa. <laughs> Even in the utility, they're using koa on all the cabinets. So plenty of storage in here. Of course, you have your washer and dryer, both front loading. You have some more uh, closets in here. And as I'm pulling open, if you've watched some of my videos, you know I'm actually a really big fan of having Yes, the iron built in. I know it's back from the 60s, but I iron my own shirts and pulling the iron out of the closet every day and that screeching noise it makes is so annoying. I want the built in ironing board, just makes it a lot easier. Over here to the left, we just pass real quickly the pantry. Uh, so you got plenty of long-term storage there if you need. Uh, so a lot of storage, real, uh, real functionality here in the house. Now we're getting towards uh, the guest side of the house. You know, we had that awesome koi pond there with lots of koi. This is the first of, I think I have it right, eight guest rooms out on this wing of the house. It's pretty spectacular. It looks like they had four guest rooms and then they built a pod with four more uh, connected with the same roof, uh, but a breezeway in between. Each of these guest rooms can hold a king size bed. Uh, I think most of them can probably hold, I think four of them on the other side can hold two queens. Uh, each of them has an in suite bathroom. Each of them has a walk in closet. Each of them has custom koa throughout, a shower. Uh, I think one of them, one or two of them have a tub uh, for soaking instead of a shower. Uh, great countertops here, uh, great marble, stonework throughout, recessed lighting, ceiling fans, everything you need. Um, <clears throat> to me, this is really a good corporate retreat type house. You could put a lot of people in this house. The regular audio is about to pick up here in a second. You're going to 
start hearing what's going on all around me, including, I hope it's coming through right now, the waterfall coming here in this koi pond. The koi pond is really nice. Uh, so on the other side of this house, you have all this, you know, wonderful view of Kona and of the ocean. And then over here, it's just really peaceful with the great landscaping they did in this courtyard. You got the koi and they look nice and healthy. You got your koi feeder right there automatically. Waterfall on the other side. And I believe there's another waterfall in here too. So it's a, a really nice water feature. On the other side of this is that three car garage. Uh, so plenty of uh, space here in this courtyard. It's really nice that they integrated that in uh, here on this house. Absolutely spectacular. All right, we're gonna enjoy it here and let the video pick it up. All right, we're picking it back up here on the second suite uh, on this wing of the house. There's quite a bit down here. Uh, another walk-in closet, built-in shelving, more koa wood, queen-size bed here, big enough for a king if you want to get larger, African mahogany trim throughout. More just outstanding work on this unit. This house is in incredible shape. So this one's set up pretty much just like the one, the first one we were in. And that's our garage right over there. And let's see. And more down here. Wow, okay. So a third suite down here. Of course, at this price point, you're expecting everything to have an in-suite bathroom. And it does, walk-in closet. I mean, these are all outstanding. This one's uh, bathroom setup is a little bit different. They have the tub over here. Dual basin sink, it's a different granite in here. Or marble, I think I should say. Different color scheme. I think I like this one a little bit better in terms of the color scheme. Let's get back out here to the backyard. Let's see. There we go. Oh, it's spring activated, nice. Now, I wish it wasn't quite so gray today because I'd like to show you how gorgeous that view is. We still got more house over here. You believe that? So it's connected by a breezeway, but it's still one roof structure. So as far as the county is concerned, this is all one structure. And so another bedroom, they got two queen size beds in here. <laughs> this own in sweet bath. Okay, so I'm gonna put this also in the corporate retreat. Um, playlist which I haven't put anything in there in a while you can see some of our fruit trees I see avocado I see the orange trees are going got some mango right over here so bedroom guest bedroom I think we're at number three four five guest bedroom number five all right you know what some corporation has been doing a lot of remote working and is worried about team building that's who needs to come there in here so got the boiler got a laundry room <laughs> two more uh bedrooms okay so the guest pod which is all still one structure so technically not a pod has four more bedrooms each with two beds, so eight more beds aside from what we had in the main house. I know I'm going really quick right now, but this video is getting a bit on the long side and it's just more awesomeness after another. I mean, all of these rooms are big. They didn't go small on anything. Everything is king-sized. Well, even if the bed's not king-sized, the room could handle a king-sized bed. There can't be another bedroom. It's another bedroom. Oh my gosh. 
I guess I need to learn to count to nine. Um, but yeah, here's bedroom number nine. Wow, so you can sleep one. I was just, I, yeah, so two in each room, nine, 18. Um, I wonder if they had, I have to check the count to see how they counted that one room, uh, the owner's room in particular. All right, we're gonna come back out here. I know uh, the view is important to everybody. This is this is as good as it gets. I have seen uh, some outstanding homes in Kona over the 17 years I've been doing this. Got started in 04. And aside from something in like Kukio or Hualalai. Um, and including some of the best oceanfront houses that we have on the market. This is as good as it gets. Now it is going to auction and this type of home is doing very well at auction these days. So it's interesting to see where it would go. I think it'll still go under the 7.75 list price or else someone would have just made that offer and bought it. But this is, you know, for a big group. There's just so much here uh, and so much that you can do. Okay, I hope if you enjoy this video, let me know what you think in the comments below. How much would you bid on this house? That's what I want to know. Spectacular. Again, nine bedrooms, nine baths, two half baths, 6,825 square feet, five acres, dramatic views, swimming pool, uh, just absolutely spectacular. Currently listed at 7.75. I'm Mike Drew, our principal broker next to Home Paradise Realty. See you again. Aloha.